Welcome to a mediumship reading. Um, one of the things I always uh, tell clients is that the critical aspect of a mediumship reading is the energy that we're able to create. Uh, and that's really the foundation for generating a great signal. It's an analogy that I always use is the cell phone battery. If the cell phone's got a great battery, we're going to get a great signal. If the cell phone doesn't have a good energy you know, battery, we're not going to get a signal. So we need to generate a lot of energy. And the best way we can get energy is through love. So think loving thoughts. Think positive thoughts. Think happy thoughts. Think open thoughts. Be open to whatever happens. You can open your mind, open your hands, open your legs, just, well, open um, things just to be open to, uh, you know, spirit and allow yourself to connect. Um, and I think perhaps the most important part is just to uh, invite your loved ones and light, you know, to draw near. Um, one of the things that uh, I'm going to do is really focus on uh, the prayer so that we can get close to spirit. And then we'll do a small preparation so that we can really feel ourselves reaching towards spirit and invite them to us. Okay, so you ready? Ready. Okay. Divine, blessed creator, source of all energy, draw close to us and help us to gather near with all spirits and guidance and help us also to find out who our spirits are, not only for the highest good, for all concerned. We allow a spirit to draw near and we invite spirit to draw close uh, to our energy and our essence. In God's name we pray, amen. amen. And what I invite you to do is to close your eyes and just focus on your breathing. Focus on the inhalation and the exhalation. And on the inhalation, feel yourself inhaling love. And on the exhalation, feel yourself exhaling peace. As you inhale, feel yourself inhaling love and light from the Creator, exhaling peace and harmony. And just feel your body relax. As you inhale, feel yourself just inhaling love and light of the Creator and all of its peace and just allow your body to relax as you exhale peace and tranquility. Begin to focus now on your solar plexus right below the diaphragm and begin to feel that there is a spark of energy, a small ball of energy in your diaphragm, in your solar plexus. As you inhale, you're inhaling light that's making that ball of energy brighter and brighter. And as you exhale, you feel that ball of energy grow larger and larger. As you inhale, it grows brighter and brighter. And as it exhales, it grows larger and larger. Your entire torso now is filled with spirit energy. You can feel the spirit energy growing within you, for you are spirit. Feel it growing through your arms and your legs and your head, beyond the physical, out into your aura. You can feel your energy continuing to grow. You don't have to do anything. It just continues to grow out through the rest of the room. Begin to think of your loved ones now. Feel your loved ones. Feel their essence. Feel them drawing closer to you. Feel them coming closer and closer. You may feel their energy. You may feel the tingling on your arms as they are more present and they are alerting you to your presence. Stay focused on them. Invite them. For they want to communicate with you as much as you want to communicate with them. Begin to slowly come back within your body, within your aura. Slowly coming back within your torso. Slowly coming back within your ball of energy. Feel your feet grounded on the floor. 
feel your back resting on the back of your chair. Feel the seat and the weight and the density of your physical body. You've now fully returned and you're fully grounded. Welcome back. You can open your eyes. As I reach out into the spirit world, I can already feel a man who wants to bring himself closer. He's coming from an angle. And I feel this man has got a, uh, a grin, quite a grin. I feel like this is a man who wants to, oh, I feel, I feel him, uh, he, he's really near me right now. I feel him uh, tingling up my arms. Um, he's really drawing close to me now. I feel like this is the kind of man who's quite raucous, um, very funny, um, doesn't really care about a lot of uh, perceptions that people will give him. And it's just, uh, uh, I feel like he's uh, got like short hair on the sides or, or, or kind of like shaven or something. I don't see a lot of hair in, uh, on his head. Does, it, does any of this make any sense? Do you understand, you understand a man in... Yes. in Yes, okay. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I mean, he, he, uh, the, the phrase, um, I, I, I feel like I just want to party, um, comes to mind. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and it's like I, I, I see him like rocking his head to something. Um, I don't know what, what it means, but I feel like there's a, there's a beat to it. Like I'm, like I'm rocking my head. I'm just kind of doing something. Does any of that make any sense? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, what else? What are we here for? Uh, I feel like you've spoken to this man before because I'm hearing... Um, I didn't get to talk to you much yet, yet being the operative word. So does that make sense that he has not been able to speak with you yet? Yes. Okay. Um, but you have spoken with him before? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. <laughs> and now I'm hearing, um, you didn't think I'd let you go that easily. <laughs> <laughs> this guy feels like he used to, um, when he was in the physical, really liked it. He was a kidder. He was a, he was a guy who just wouldn't let it go. Yes. Okay. Um, and what's also very interesting is I feel like he just wants to kind of like chill out, like he just wants to kick out his legs and just kind of put his head, hands behind his head and just go, ah, this is the life. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Like, is that his personality where he would just want to chill out? Yes. Okay. Okay. He just wants to chill out. All right. Um, and a uh, vibrant color shirt. Uh, uh, Blues and oranges and yellows and really like rainbow colored shirt. Does that make any sense to you? Tie-dye shirt. Tie-dye shirt. Okay. Yeah, because I was just seeing like stripes and all over the place. So it's a tie-dye shirt. Okay. Um, let's see. What else can we talk about? Um, oh, yeah. Wow. Um, Uh, he's got somebody on his left hand, or to me, it looks like, uh, it must be his right hand, because he's walking to me like this, and it's on my left side, but it's his right hand, and there's somebody short walking with him on his right hand. Looks like a, somebody this big, small child. Does that make any sense to you? Okay. Um, doesn't seem very tall, and they know each other. Um, who are you? Uh, 
I don't know what to do with this, but I'm just going to throw it out there anyway. Um, I'm hearing mommy. I have, um, I lost a son in 2015. Um, he was a baby. Um, my, uh, this person who you're describing to a T, um, is actually my uncle. Uh, the colorful shirt is a, um, he was a grateful deadhead <laughs> and, um, he always, you know, the different color bears right. and the tie dye shirts and the. Um, and he was very much a, uh, he was crazy. He liked right. to party. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Um, but does it, because what I'm, what I'm thinking is, and I, I hate to think, but I mean, I'm this, this short person that was holding this man's hand, um, was just like looking at me and saying, and I just heard the word mommy. So that, so I have to honor the word five. mommy. Okay, well, if he's five, then is that how tall a five-year-old would be? I don't remember how tall a five-year-old because mine's, you know, <laughs> mine's much older than that now. <laughs> but, I mean, it, 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 was pretty, it was pretty short. He did not look, I mean, he was coming up to, like, barely his knee. Uh, I mean, I, I, just, I just saw he was short and he was holding his hand. So it, it felt like a very, like a young child um, who could, speak and say mommy so that was what was coming through so i'm just going to leave that with you um what else do we have? it's interesting he's doing it like a um i want to say he's like the, the the young boy is doing like an irish jig jumping up and doing an irish dance <laughs> up in the air like saying look at me and kicking and kicking his heels kind of like the what is it the keebler elf or something um, but he just, he just wants to kick up his, his heel and say, and say, look, I'm alive. I'm jumping up and down. Um, so he's definitely with you. And this man, your... My uncle. Uncle? Okay. This man, your uncle, uh, clearly was quite a character. And he's clearly with you. He shouldn't be the one watching the kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently they're having quite the time. They're having quite the time. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen, but up there, you know... Who knows? <laughs> um, let's see, what else do we love? This is interesting. Um, I'm also getting a feeling that your uncle is now kind of showing me a, like a serious side to himself. And I want to say that there's like a responsible side to him, um, which I think was in response to your comment, um, because all of a sudden, I, it's not like he took offense, but I felt like it, it's, it's like, you know, there's like, wait a second, I am responsible. Um, and it's like there was like the serious side that came over him. Um, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'll just let you, uh, let, let you know that he uh, clearly does have a serious, responsible side. Um, Things are changing here. I'm just going to leave you with their love because clearly they're coming through. Um, but now I want to talk about a woman uh, who wants to come through. Um, the word matronly is coming. Um, I got the feeling I wanted to talk about it like, like, almost like a nurse, but nursely, like, a, like, like maybe she acted like a nurse, maybe she was a nurse. Um, she's mm, I don't know, nurse maid, mother, there's, there's something about a mother and a nurse and a, uh, does any of that make there's any sense? There's a few. Okay, a few. so let's, let's narrow this down then. Um, Yeah, she keeps on going on about the, the nurse. So there's something specific about the nurse that she's emphasizing. Um, and I want to say that she is, she was a nurse or... Um, so let's focus on that. Do you remember anybody uh, that who was a nurse? Not as a profession, no. But uh, was that perhaps it's, um, I'm reading too much into it. Maybe it's um, something that where she is focused on 
that was the way she thought. Yes. When you when you combine matronly and and, and nurse, the, the, kind of like the, the her personality, it kind of felt because that's the way this works. It's it's like what what what's the sense? Am I, and I'm the emotion that I'm sensing is like this this nurse emotion, this nurse feeling this um, where I would nurse over everybody, um, this, I'd mother over everybody. There's two people. Who two are people, okay, so we yeah. narrowed it down to two people. Um, uh, and it, it almost does, hmm, gosh, I need more. I don't want to call it a. I don't want to call it a mother either. I want to call this person almost like a family friend, somebody that uh, you, you or, or just a family friend or a friend or or somebody that you knew, um, who was just like over the top with <laughs> caring with people and nursing people, and and that was just the way she. she that was just the way she, what she did, who she was all the time. There was an aunt. She um, she had one child who was older okay. than all of us. All right. So it's because that's what that's what I that's what I'm feeling. It's like this. It's it's not the mother, but it's like it's like out. It's like she was definitely outside. She yeah, was right. an immediate okay. family, but all right. the kids were right. good. Okay. So that's it's it's got to it's got to be this 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 aunt because it I, I knew it was one of two people. Not the mother has to be the other person that was not. In the nuclear family, um, not in the immediate family. So uh, we're going to go uh, with this aunt who is focused on being extremely uh, nursing and nur <laughs> with that uh, method. But I also felt like she'd be quite strict at times. I'm getting this feeling like where like I, I, I like not only was she strict, but I also feel like there'd be these times where she had to put everybody in their little spaces, their little yeah. silo, very organized. Like, okay, you're here, you're here, you're here, you're here, and this is the way things she are going to operate. In their place, it didn't matter. Yeah. So uh, it's just like yes. uh, the, the the image I'm getting is like that of a, uh, of like a stable. All, all the horses are going in their respective whatever you call them, <laughs> um, stables within a barn. Like everybody's like got their space and that's exactly where she put them. Um, okay. And I do definitely get this feeling like she's acknowledging the fact that she was a little too strict for, <laughs> for her own good. Yes. Um, and there's a regret about that. Oh, interesting. And I'm getting also as, as this as this feeling of regret expands, I get this uh, further feeling that it's much more of a, a, a desire, a wish to have lived a fuller life. That I wish I had um, lived more. I wish I had allowed myself to be a little bit more free because I feel like she was so tied up in making sure everybody did everything exactly her way that she couldn't get out of her own way. That she couldn't get out of her own mind. That that so that so far that she's just like I, she couldn't live her own life as a result. I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So there's that uh, regret and the, the the desire that she had actually, she wishes she had. Oh. Um, okay. I'm going to continue to uh, build on this. That the the desire to, um, and and regret that she hadn't expanded her life and that she hadn't lived a fuller life. I feel is is uh, she's trying to get that across to you because she wants you to lead the fuller life, to expand your life. Um, and I've, I feel like she's, like she's saying, she's not saying that you're not living a full life, but it's more like continue to expand your life, continue to expand your fullness. Does that make any sense? Um, uh, the, the full, the the full nature of your life. I guess that's what she's trying to say. Yeah. All right. Because it's kind of like I'm. Oh. Okay, I get it. Um, she just showed me like a, a an Energizer bunny, and she's but she showed me half of an Energizer bunny. She said you got like the half of the Energizer bunny already, so you're already spunky and whatever. 
But she's like, you need the other half. You got to put it together. Get it going. <laughs> you see? Spirit's always right. <laughs> Spirit is always right. That, that I'll give them. Um, it's, it's us here in the physical that actually have to figure out what they're saying and recognize that, in fact, what they're saying is right, which is um, the tough part. What else? Yeah, and she's just like, ooh, okay. Um, I'm, just, I'm feeling this incredible feeling uh, around my chest as her love uh, expands. Anytime I get this feeling where it's like it starts in the center and expands outward like these rays, it's like this feeling of expanding love. And it's just like the sense that's going out to you that she's like sending you all this massive love. Um, I also feel like she was quite a loving person, even though she had of all her, her strict over overdone nature she also had the capability of being an incredibly loving woman she was the best we fought before she died and okay went like that but so that's what i'm that's what i'm feeling so she had the capability of being incredibly loving and it's that love that's coming back and she's letting you know that she's with you and she's still with you and she's still saying you know expand I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> So with that, I will leave you with uh, all of their love. And it felt like uh, those three people came through uh, quite lovingly. So thank you for working with me. Thank you. Thank you.